Sebastian to have started dinner without it. Thank you. Hello, darling. Thank you, Wilcox. Well, darling, I've collected your chum. I thought you were dying. I thought so, too. The pain was excruciating. Do you think if you asked him, Wilcox would give us champagne tonight? I hate champagne. And Mr. Ryder has already had dinner. Mr. Ryder? Mr. Ryder? Charles drinks champagne at all hours. You know, looking at this great swaddle foot of mine, I can't get it out of my head that I've got gout. And that gives me a craving for champagne. Ow! Which way? Dinner was served in the red dining room. While they dined, I ate a peach and told them of the war with my father. And, and he said to him, living in London, you must miss your national game. And Jorkin said, what national game? And my father said, why, cricket, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, I really think he's sometimes quite mad. Sounds perfect poppet to me. And now I'm going to leave you, boys. Where are you off to? Nursery. I promised Nanny our last game of Halma. Dear Nanny Hawkins, she lives entirely for pleasure. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Ryder, and goodbye. I'm leaving early. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for relieving me at the sick bed. My sister's very pompous tonight. I don't think she cares for me. I don't think she cares for anyone very much. I love her. She's so like me. Do you? Is she? In looks, I mean, in the way she talks. I wouldn't love anyone with a character like mine. Charles, we're going to have a heavenly time alone. 